Hello everyone, welcome to a new series called Makeup Plus Medical Talk where I talk about a common medical problem or issue or just a medical topic that I think people don't really understand while putting on my makeup. So come on a little bit closer and let's start. So what I currently have on is just concealer, a little bit of powder and just a little bit of bronzer just to make sure I don't look as washed out as I usually do. I work long days <laughs> currently in the lab, also at the hospital, depends on where I am and what I'm doing and it's just, you know, it, it comes through with my eye bags usually. So I'm going to start with my makeup and let's start talking about it so today's topic is blood what is blood so this is actually a very interesting topic as I do teach medical students I teach medical students I teach biomedical engineering students so people who are studying medicine and people who just are studying actually more of a bio thing that is loosely connected to medicine and they both actually have a hard time understanding what is blood so let's just break it down so at the very essence going in with a little bit of bronze into my crease at the very essence blood actually is a suspension of blood cells inside the liquid phase of blood called plasma so if we start going a little bit deeper oh oh look the whole video is just me telling you blood is a suspension done bye no 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 <laughs> so if we start going in a little bit deeper then the water fraction called plasma is actually sometimes also called serum. So if we talk about serum and plasma, then we actually are talking of the water fraction of blood at the same time. Only what the difference is, is that plasma also contains clotting factors. So clotting, blood clotting, is basically why you do not bleed out if you get an injury. Uh, what it contains are clotting factors that are in the water fraction and also platelets that are one part, that are one of the five blood cells basically so that's why you don't bleed out but if we collect blood and we get rid of uh, that um, that clotting factor part then we get serum so serum is basically just water that's inside of you that's circulating around your body all the time you know just round and round and round carrying food carrying nutrients so that is serum if it has clotting factors then it's plasma it doesn't really matter how we talk about it it's um if you want to look at certain things from blood you have to know do we look at serum or do we look at plasma if you want to see clotting you need to look at plasma if you just want to see sodium potassium albumin then you can also look at it in serum so this is more of a what do you collect and why kind of a thing. So a little bit of black going on my eye now. <laughs> and messed up my eye already so yeah that happens especially if you're talking at the same time anyway so we already discussed through what is the water fraction so the liquid part of blood that keeps it running but the other part of blood are the cells that are inside of it i look probably completely ridiculous right now but that's okay you just need to hear my wonderful voice going on and on and on about things. <laughs> so, okay, so we have managed to make our way to blood cells. And blood cells, we actually have five different types of blood cells. The ones that we have the most are red blood cells. And as you can kind of guess, red blood cells and the reason why we have so much of it or, well, we have so many of them that they give blood their reddish color. So red blood cells actually contain hemoglobin, which contains heme, which contains iron, and iron binds to oxygen. So red blood cells 
are responsible for moving oxygen around our body. So we need the most of it. We need oxygen a lot. We need oxygen constantly. If there is no oxygen, there is no life. So red blood cells, one part. And all the other blood cells, are sometimes taken together under the name white blood cells. But to be more specific, then we have white blood cells that themselves can be divided into two really big subgroups. And we also have platelets. And platelets I already talked about. And if you remember, then platelets are part of the blood clotting system inside the body. So platelets are for clotting. We have a lot of them as well. And platelets, they actually aren't even blood cells. They are the outbuddings of the previous cell. So all blood cells are made in the bone marrow and they have this big cell called the megakaryocyte. So platelets are actually the out of megakaryocyte cytoplasma. So they aren't really cells, they don't have a nucleus themselves, we just have a lot of them and we need them for blood clotting. And we have finally made our way to white blood cells. So white blood cells, we can talk about granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes means they have granules inside of them. And at the same time, we can also talk about mononuclear cells and polymorphonuclear cells. So agranulocytes usually are also mononuclear cells and what we think about under this category are lymphocytes. And lymphocytes actually are a very fascinating part of the human immune system. Basically all of the adaptive immune system, uh, basically what vaccines are built on, all of that is on lymphocytes. We have B, we have T, and under T we have TH, TC. You know, it's a whole nother topic I'm not gonna get into. So acrinocytes, or mononuclear cells, lymphocytes. We also have monocytes. So monocytes are also part of the um, part of the immune system, but what they do, they go into tissues and they become tissue macrophages. So they are there inside the tissue and if anything wrong comes into the tissue, they start attacking it. So our tissue attack system is built upon tissue macrophages. And the other part, that's a pencil now, the other part, the granulocytes, the polymorphonuclear cells, those are actually three basic subtypes. We have neutrophils, we have basophils, and we have eosinophils. So neutrophils is actually the biggest type, but we have the most of them. If we look at um, the, how many different white blood cells we have, then actually 40 to 75% of white blood cells are neutrophils. So everything in our body, if it wants to start attacking something, that is actually built on the neutrophilic reaction against the certain agent. So neutrophils, they take them in, they break them apart, boom, no more pathogen, no more substance that could hurt the human body. So yes, that's what neutrophils do. Eosinophils, but eosinophils, we have about 6%. We don't have a lot of them from all white blood cells, but eosinophils, what they do, they actually are part of our allergy system. So if our body knows something they don't like, they start producing IgE against them. So IgE is immunoglobin. Again, a huge world. Hopefully I will get to that at some point in one of my videos. But it starts producing IgE against them and the producers actually are T cells and B cells, so lymphocytes. So another world upon itself. And what that IgE does, it actually goes to neutrophils and neutrophils start bursting with all the chemical substances, mainly histamine, that actually causes us the anaphylactic reaction. So what we get, we get um, our tissues start getting full of water, our tissues start getting red, our tissues start getting bigger because of the water. So basically, think of your throat closing up. 
you know, it gets big, it gets watery, it starts itching. That's the anaphylactic reaction. And that is called by the IgE going on top of eosinophils and histamine getting released. And the uh, last white blood cell I haven't talked about yet, those are basophils. So basophils, they can react pretty similar as eosinophils. They all can also give out histamine, but basophils we don't want a lot of. The less we need some of them, but we don't want a lot of them. If we have too much of them, it's called mastocytosis. It's an illness, and one of the main parts of that illness is when you just get we get a very bad allergic reaction, very bad anaphylactic reaction due to just having so many basophils. And also if you have basophilia, that means if you have a lot of basophils in your blood, it actually shows us that you might have a bad disease. And in this, <laughs> in this place, it's usually you might have leukemia. So, what I went over, I went over what is blood, a suspension uh, of blood cells inside the liquid, which is plasma, without clotting factor serum, there are red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So I think I got everything. So I am going to finish up my eye and then I will come back and I'll finish up the video. So see you in a bit. So right after talking about medicine, I, I went straight into putting on some highlighter. Then I put on some um, roller liner eyeliner. Then I put on some better than sex mascara. And finally, I added some NARS lip pencil. So there will be videos of me putting on all of these and creating this final look. So if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. If you found some factual wrong things, please leave a comment. If you think I got something completely wrong and you see it differently, please leave a comment. I want to see if I got it right. I do give this kind of medical, well, I give seminars, I give practicals, I give lectures, and this is usually the way I go out in front of a class and tell them about these things. So it would be really beneficial for me to hear your feedback as well. Is it good? What needs more explanations? Do I need to bring slides next time? So please let me know. And I hope to see you again soon watching something else. So thank you so much for watching and bye.